So the next thing we're going to do is add some snow. And I'm going to show you a quick way to add snow that's quite effective. All right, so first I'm just going to make a gray layer. So make my foreground color gray, option delete to fill. I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise. 100 is good, Gaussian monochromatic. And then I'm going to blur this just a bit. So blur, let's do a Gaussian blur, two pixels. And then Command M for curve. I'm going to curve this until I just have some white dots. And that looks quite good. All right, so that's our snow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my marquee tool and I'm just going to select kind of the top corner of this right about that much and do command J and then transform that and make it bigger. And I'm going to do that again. Command J, transform that, make it bigger. And one last time, command J, transform, make that bigger. So now what that's done is it's given me various layers of snow. And this is going to be, um, so let's just call these snow one, snow two, snow three, and snow four. And let's put these on screen. Now every blending mode has a shortcut and it's shift option and a letter. So screen is S. So shift option S, shift option S, shift option S. You can see right away that's given us quite a nice snow effect. All right, so our first layer, which is our kind of our background layer, I want to be a little bit blurred. So let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and two is about right. And our snow two, I want to be in focus because that's at the same plane as she is. And then snow three, I want to be blurred. So there you go. And let's do that again. So I'm going to do Command F. Command F will do your last filter that you applied with the same settings. So by doing it twice, I'm adding more blur to it. And then finally, the top layer. Let's do a Gaussian blur on that. And about eight looks good. So there you go. We now have a rather organic looking snow. And let's put all these into a folder. Add a mask to that. And then we can just use a gradient and kind of get rid of it down here. Now, the nice thing is I want the foreground snow to be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this mask to the bottom layer the two bottom layers so that only the big snow is in our foreground here and the rest is behind. And I don't want much snow in front of her. So I'm going to add a mask there. Um, select a uh, blurred brush. Just kind of paint it out where it's in front of her. I don't mind a few in front of her. So it looks like she's in the scene, but I don't want any on her face. So that looks quite good. So there you go. We've quickly added some nice snow. And because we use that noise technique rather than using a paintbrush, it looks more organic and real. And we can also just double these up if we want. Like if we want a bit more snow, I can make Command T and just rotate that 180. It's going to add some there. I can do the same here. Rotate that 180. Move it, move it a little bit. And there you go. We can add, add more snow that way. But that looks quite good. And 
So there you go. We've now added snow to the scene. 